Hey everybody, this is Tara and I'm back for my third video with Suavecita Pomade and I'm here with my model, Talia, and we're gonna be doing a 1950s fluffy wave. Hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing that we're gonna do to, in order to achieve this look is grab our Suavecita Serum, as you can see right here. And we're gonna actually take a couple of pumps in our hand and we're gonna warm it up and we're gonna evenly distribute this all throughout her hair. Kind of focusing on the ends. And what this product does is it takes away a little bit of the frizz and smooths it out and gets it ready for the curl. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab the Suavecita paddle brush and I'm gonna brush this all through her hair to distribute the product evenly. So it looks like we're ready to go ahead and start parting the hair. So for the next step, we're gonna take our teasing comb or brush and we're gonna go ahead and part her hair to the side. So with parting the hair, you wanna make sure that you have a really nice clean part. Make sure you use the end of the brush and you can get that perfect side part. And I think we'll just kind of adjust here. Comb it all back. Now she has all these little crazy guys right here, but with all the products we're gonna to use today, we're gonna to make sure that's all smoothed out and blended. So when you do curl the hair, you wanna section the hair right behind the ear, just like so. And grab your Suavecita clip and just kinda of clip it out of the way. Makes it a little bit easier when you're curling to have nice, clean sections. Same thing for the other side. So now the next step is to go ahead and start curling the back. And when you curl the back, you basically wanna start from the bottom up. So we're gonna do a section in the back, about an inch thick, and we're gonna clip up the rest. And this is the fun part where we start curling. Now, the first product I do like to use before curling is the Suavecita Grooming Spray. This stuff is amazing, it's great before you curl the hair. You just spray it on section by section, lightly mist it, brush through, and what this does is it basically ensures that the curl is gonna stay and hold well for you. So once you spray that on, you wanna get your curling iron. Today I'm using a 3 4 inch curling iron, and we're gonna start, uh, go ahead and pin curling her. So when I pin curl, I start from the top, and I work my way to the bottom. And then lightly click it out. Take your pin curl clip, and clip that guy right in there, just like that. And you know, just remember that they don't have to be perfect, just as long as you have a nice pin curl, you're okay, but it doesn't have to sit perfect or look perfect. Now, let's say you have um, very, very blonde, fragile hair. You definitely wanna make sure that your curling iron isn't on high because you don't wanna fry your hair. But for her hair today, we're gonna put it on the highest heat because her hair can take it. She's got nice, strong hair and it will come out even more curly and it will stay even better for us today. So as you can see, we're almost done with the back here. The back is the most time consuming part, but like I said, you don't have to make it perfect back here as long as you got everything in a nice curl you're good to go. But definitely that grooming spray that I used on her takes away a lot of the frizz and it just really helps the curl stay in the hair. It's really great for all hair textures, all hair types. I've used it on all my clients and I always get a really good result. And I like to spray, you know, section by section. You can go ahead and spray the whole head throughout if you don't have a ton of hair, but because she has a lot of hair, I wanna make sure the product is in there and I do it section per section. So we're gonna go ahead and spray with the um, grooming spray all over the hair. Just kind of dampens it up a little bit and helps the hair set. Okay, so on to the front of the hair. Let's take out these clips and we're gonna start on this side. And what I'm gonna do is, you know, you could always start from the top, but when you're doing it 
on yourself, it's easier to start from the bottom. So let's go ahead and take a piece from the bottom, about an inch thick, clip this up. We're gonna spray this guy with the grooming spray again. Brush it. And we're gonna curl it just like we did the back. So everything is going down. It's funny, I know. Everyone feels so funny when they have their pin curls in their hair, but you know, back in the day, the ladies used to walk around and go to the grocery store with like cute vintage scarves on, and you can always do that. If you want your hair to really stay and to be really curly, especially if you don't, if your hair doesn't hold a curl, you can let your hair set overnight. You can buy little caps, like satin caps to put on and set it overnight. You can also, um, like I said, wear a vintage scarf and walk around half a day, do some errands, let it set for a few hours. Or if you're kind of short on time, you would probably, at minimum, want your hair to set for 20 minutes. You know, go ahead and do your hair first, pink curl first, then do your makeup, get dressed, and then go ahead and do your hair. And that will give it plenty of time to set. And one more time, grooming spray, my favorite, on this side. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna go ahead and let her hair set for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll continue with the styling. All right, so let's go ahead and do one more little spritz of the grooming spray just to set the curl in. And do a really light mist. And another nice trick if you're, you know, don't have a lot of time if you're on the go, Get your uh, blow dryer and put it on the highest heat with the lowest setting. And what this does is this also helps set the curl as well. This kind of heats it up a little bit and sets it. Perfect. Okay, so now here's the fun part. Let's take out all the pin curls. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start in the back where we first started. So when you take out your pin curls, just be careful, don't yank them out. Just be nice and soft. Okay, so now that I have all the pin curls out in the back, I'm just gonna take my hands and lightly just put them through the curls, just very lightly. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start teasing the back of the hair a little bit. So, grab your fabulous teasing comb from Suavecita, and also grab your volumizing shampoo. I'm gonna take a section and lift it up. I just want a little bit of volume so everything is blended. Pull this up, get your dry shampoo, do a little sprinkle. Now when teasing the hair, when back combing, you want to start at the base of the hair. Never start at the top, always start at the base. We're going to be creating a little cushion. So I'm just lightly pushing down on the hair, just lightly, just like that. Like I said, I don't want a lot of volume right here, but I just want it to be nice and smooth with a little bit of volume. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start brushing out all this beautiful curl. So you wanna get your Suavecita sculpting brush and just go to town. You see that beautiful wave that's forming already? Look how beautiful that is. You know, there's no product in here yet, but there's gonna be. Okay, let's bring the other side down, the top part. Brush it out. I want it to be really fluffy, so there's gonna be a few tricks that I'm gonna do here in order to give her that beautiful, fluffy look. Okay, so now it's time to smooth everything out. Let's get, I'm gonna do a little trick. What I like to do is I like to get the serum and I like to get the pomade and I mix them together. A little mix of both. Kind of cuts the pomade a little bit, makes it a little bit more pliable. So get that all working through your hands. Now, okay, here's where the magic happens. So watch this. Look how beautiful and smooth her hair becomes when I put this product in her hair. Look at that. It's amazing. 
This is why I love Suavecita and their pomades, their products, everything, because look at that immediately. All of that's gone. Beautiful. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and start getting the back molded. What I'm gonna use are the big duckbill clips for this. And this is a really key element in doing a vintage hairstyle because it kind of holds everything in place without everything going crazy. So I'm gonna take my brush and start clipping. And I'm gonna start actually using the hairspray. So let's grab the hairspray. This is one of my favorites, the Suavecita Firm Hold Hairspray. It's great. It's volumizing. It does not leave the hair sticky or yucky. It's workable. I, I adore it. I cannot say enough. So I'm just going to lightly mist on the top. And I'm going to smooth it out again and start placing my duckbill clips. You're going to place the duckbill clips right where the first dent is. So let's start. Sticking those guys in. So as you can see, everything is nice and beautiful and smooth thanks to the brush that I was using and all the pomade and the hairspray. So now let's focus on the bottom here. Now once you have these clips in, it makes it easy for you to do on yourself. It kind of anchors everything down. So what I want to do is I want to basically fluff everything out. And my little trick is to kind of tease from underneath. And you can use the small teasing comb, but I like the, the big paddle brush for this because it grabs all the hair. I'm just gonna push under like this. Push under, push under, push under. Same thing. I'm gonna push under, push under, push under. I'm gonna grab my hairspray, because I like the way this looks, and I'm gonna start slightly spraying it. And a nice little trick, too, is kind of hit the hairspray underneath and push up. Just push it up like so. Very pretty. Okay, let's go on to the middle of the back section and get that to where I want it. And as you can see, I'm kind of using my hand as a guide to create the, the little bit of the dent in the hair. Okay. Go over here now. Brush it out. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to come back later on and kind of fine tune things. But for now, that's looking, looking perfect. So the back looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving on to the front. We're gonna leave these clips in for now. I'll probably move them around a little bit. So for the front, let's take out the left side first, because this is the big mama we're gonna focus on in a second. So we're gonna take this guy out first, and I believe we're gonna tuck this behind her ear. Are you okay with your ear showing? That's fine. Okay, some people don't like the ear showing. You don't have to tuck it behind the ear, but it does look good, tuck behind the ear. And I don't want a ton of volume right here, so I'm just gonna do a little light tease, just like this. Okay. Okay, let's start brushing this out. And we gotta get lots of pomade and product for these little mamas here in the front. Okay. Let's grab the Suavecita. I'm gonna put a little bit of this focus mainly in the front and then I'll grab the serum in a second. Ooh, that is perfect for your hair. Now take your duckbill clip and just clip this up like so. It just kind of helps it stay in place while I finish smoothing that out. I'm gonna get a little bit more pomade. Get those little flyaways.
Now you can do a, a couple variations on the front style. A lot of girls will do a big barrel roll. You can do a big wave, or you can just make it smooth and swoopy, but we're gonna make it obviously more of a, an S-shaped wave. So take them all out. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tease her hair. All right, so let's start teasing the hair. So we're, we wanna have a little bit of volume, but nothing crazy, but let's go ahead and start teasing the hair. Just like I did before, take your um, teasing comb and start teasing from the bottom and work your way up. And if it sticks up like that, you're good. We're gonna go ahead and start smoothing out the bottom section. And let's take our little paddle brush and I'm gonna do a light little back comb underneath. Just lightly, just like that. See how that gave it some volume just by that light little tease? And I'm just gonna go over again and brush it. Kind of put it in place. Let's see how that looks. Okay. That looks good. And another thing you can do too is, I've noticed I can use the grooming spray for taking away flyaways as well when you are styling. So let's try a little bit and see if that helps with taking away any flyaways. Oh yeah, that worked nice. Okay. Looks good. Pull that out. Let's get a little hairspray. Perfect. All right. So now that that part's done, let's keep going. Let's work our way down. I'm gonna take this section down, then we're gonna take this remaining section down. So brush this out a little bit. Okay, so I'm on the final section, and we're gonna just start brushing everything out and smoothing everything out. And we're definitely gonna get rid of all this action right here, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, get your pomade, rub it in your hands, and start just putting that product all throughout the hair, especially in the front here. Get it all distributed. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is start creating the wave. I'm gonna brush the hair up, and I'm actually gonna take that piece. And I'm gonna start getting this wave going. Okay. So just kinda look and see where your hair naturally falls. We're gonna put more pomade on those baby hairs. I knew we'd need a lot for this part, but that's okay. Okay. Now, grab your um, duckbill clips and start placing them, especially the most important area is right here. That really holds your wave and secures everything so when you're brushing, it doesn't move around too much. So now, we're just gonna basically start brushing lightly and we're gonna create the wave. So I'm kind of tilting the brush. I'm going forward, I'm going forward. So I'm creating the S, okay? Brush lightly, brush lightly. Don't be afraid, everyone freaks out on this part. If it doesn't come out right the first time, you can always redo it. You can adjust your comb or adjust your clip. Just be patient. Sometimes your hair, you'll brush it and it'll just go into this wave shape and you're like, oh my gosh, it's a miracle, like it's my best day ever. And then some days you're like, what the heck is going on? And you put it in. And you're like, let me cut my bangs. Yeah, <laughs> let me cut my bangs, exactly. I'm over this. Okay. So that looks pretty good where I want it. So we're gonna go ahead and secure that with another duckbill clip. 
if I can find one around here somewhere. There we go. Pop that guy in like so, right where the dent is. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now let's continue brushing this out on the bottom. I'm trying to blend everything out. Lightly brushing, lightly brushing. Coming out very nicely. Nice. Let's get another clip. Then secure again right here. Does anything feel uncomfortable? Nothing's poking your, your head? Okay. <laughs> okay. Looks nice. Readjust a few things and then just take a few pictures. Okay. Now I'm a perfectionist, so of course I kind of go over these things a million times, but like I said, you don't have to make it so, so perfect. As long as you brush it out, I promise it'll come out really pretty. And use your duckbill clips, and use your pomade. So, it's looking beautiful. I'm still brushing things out just to tie everything in together. And I kind of like it turned in a little bit in the front. You can always flip it out, but we're turning it in a little bit. And you can just literally mold everything with your hands. Let's put a little more grooming spray, my BFF. And just spray that on. Lightly smooth again. So it kind of has like a page boy feel to this, but it's like a more of a wave page boy, I guess you could say. Very 1950s. Maybe late 40s, early 50s. What do you think? Yeah. Let's be good. era correct. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Yeah, it's definitely like late 40s or 50s. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to just fine tune everything and adjust things where I need to. If you see any frizzies, take the pomade again and get it in there. I see a few because they'll haunt you later when the wind starts blowing. Gotta make sure everything is put in place and perfect. Okay, so let's take out these clips and we'll do any final adjusting and the final spritz. Now this is my favorite part with this comb too, is like I said, the tip of the comb is really good for fine tuning anything or tucking anything in. So what we're gonna do is take our hairspray and utilize this comb. And right where the dent is right here, I'm gonna spray the hairspray to lock everything in place. Again, right here. Try to block the client. Do a little comb. Okay, that looks good. Let's spray the side here. Smooth anything out that you need smoothed out anything in. Now you don't have to, but you can stick a bobby pin right here just to secure the look, but her hair is pretty cooperating. It's pretty much cooperating, so we're gonna just leave it be. Okay, looks pretty good. So beautiful. Wow. I know, <laughs> looks beautiful on you. Definitely suits your style. And let's fix this bobby pin because he's deciding to stick out a little bit because she's got so much hair. Let's pop this guy in. Now this look is really beautiful if you put a really pretty flower or if you have like a sparkly brooch, if you're like going out in the town or an evening or prom or wherever you're going, you can dazzle it up with a nice pretty brooch or whatever you want. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do one more spritz with the 
blow dryer just to lock everything down. All right, girl, here we go. Ready, hold your breath. <laughs> lock that all in. It feels light? Yeah. Good. I know we do have a lot of product in your hair, but the products are lightweight, and like I said, nothing is sticky or heavy. It all feels really good. Okay, I could go crazy with this hairspray because I love it so much, so somebody might have to take it away from me. One more little squirt. Okay, you guys, so here you have it, our 1950s vintage fluff wave style on my beautiful model, Talia. Go ahead and take a spin. Beautiful, love it. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. And any ideas for next time, just go ahead and let us know. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Bye everyone.